Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Live Disgaea with me, OXFU, and... Oh wow, it's been a while. Um... Oh wow, it's really been a while. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to jump around like it's um, a later Disgaea game, but... Anyway, um, I was wrong last time. We actually do not have two switches that we had to unlock to go do this. Prince, I'm going to the bathroom, okay? Now what this is, is Etna keeps a secret journal. My memory. This is my secret chamber. Only I know how to get in here. This is where my most precious memories were locked away. That I remember, but I can't remember what they were. When I try to remember, my heart aches. This pain is proof of how dear those memories are to me. I have to get them back. Now if you go into this room every chapter and check um, up on her diary, then at the end of the game, or when you die, you will be able to do a, another game, basically, that's inside this one called Etna's Story. And it's pretty cool. Um, now, I'm going to start explaining a couple things right away. Um, last time we unlocked the Dark Assembly, which is what this fine lady right here will let us into. Um, now, as you see, Harry, Amanda, and Roger, you're still level one. Um that's going to change this episode. Um, actually, you know what? I want to finish, I want to do one level before we get into this, just because I do not want to create a good for nothing. I would rather like to create a an, an incompetent. And you'll find out what that is in just a few minutes. Hmm, so what you gonna do, Prince? Should we take a peek? Definitely. I'll slaughter the master of the castle as the first step to be becoming overlord. You can barely see the Half the text because my microphone's in the way. Um, so, for the first few chapters of this, this is going to be more of a Let's Play than a Let's Live, just to let you know. Um, just because... There's a lot of explaining that I am going to have to do. But at the same time, I am going to be doing some amount of a Let's Live. Um, there's not a lot that happened this week, except me being extremely tired, because, as some of you might know, I had a paper due this week on w the incredible Mr. William Blake, and I had to do a close reading of that, so that was a bit of a hectic, a hectic rush to rewrite half of my paper the night before it was due. Not because I didn't do it. I had the paper completely written. Um, it was just that I did more research before the, the the very night before, and I realized a couple of things that completely changed the tone of my paper. So, yeah. So yesterday I got all of one hour of sleep over a course of 36 hours, which was absolutely ridiculously fun. Although not really. Oh, unfortunately there's no way to speed up the <laughs> the geo panel destruction in this game. Which is kind of unfortunate because once we get later on, once we are actually start delving into something called the item world, we're going to be seeing a lot of just a lot of geo panel play. So uh what else has been going on? Still going on in Irish. Still Pretty fun. Um, we've actually been learning more numbers. This is our third set of numbers that we've learned because in Irish, you don't have you don't have um, just one way to say a number. You have like one through ten. You have a hand, um, do, tri, kahar, kuig, she, shocked, oct, noy, and dai. Day or die. Um, Harry's gonna get on my case for that, I know. Um, but then, then you have other numbers for like if you want to count, say five people, you can't say, oh, look, there's Kuig people in this room. No, you have to say there's Kuiger people in this room, and then it gets even more complicated if you want to count actual objects, which is what we're on now. Like, you can't say, oh, so I have, like, 
there are there are Kuigar people in here, and they've got Kuigar seats to sit in. No, you can't say that. <laughs> I think they I, I can't remember the word that you have to say because we just learned it on Wednesday. But you have to add a word before it, and then it's Kuigar. You can't just be like, okay, is it Kuig? Chairs? Uh, no. And then it gets even weirder with um, stuff like euros and stuff like that because you don't actually say the object. Like, I don't say, oh, I've got, I think it's like ever. No. Is it like ever? Anyway, you, you don't say, like, I've got so and so euros in my pocket. No, you just say you have, like, five. You don't even say that they're euros, which is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> but I'm loving it, so I don't care. Um, what else has been going on? Not really. A lot, actually. So as you can see, I'm mostly working on leveling up the printies, like Roger's level 2 now, Amanda's still level 1. You know what, I'm gonna start using a lot, uh, some more team attack, because then we can actually level them up. It's kind of it's kind of like using an EXP share. By using the team attack, we make sure that they get at least a hit in. See? Like, Harry just leveled up to level 2 now. Now he's not going to suck as much. He's still going to suck, though, because Prinnies are, in the beginning, the weakest characters in the game. They become incredibly powerful, though, um, once you start actually using them and reincarnating them, which we'll get to that, we'll get to that. Um, not this episode, because that's quite a while away. You have to be, like, level 15 to be able to re reincarnate. But we will get to that, don't worry. Um... I think that's it. For this turn. Um, ultimately what I want to, wanted to do with this episode is I want to get through um, some parts of this second chapter, which it looks like we only are going to be able to do one level uh, right now. But in addition to getting through some of the... Oh no, Amanda died! Oh, You see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, they're, they're, they're pretty weak early on, but... Don't worry, you guys are gonna get... You guys will get strong! Get strong like that! Especially because I do want to reincarnate all of you. I do not recommend staying a Prinny at this point. Um, Harry or Amanda. Or Roger. Um, I thought for a second I was thinking that Roger was the one that was there. Wow, Roger, you're actually leveling up like a beast. Alright. Ha! More team attack. Um, no, I do not recommend you guys staying as Prinnies this early on, just because you will be dying a lot. Ooh, we got Muscle Brawn. Alright, now... I should probably explain how equipables work. So, as I think they said earlier, you have four slots to equip things. You have one for weapons, and you have three for other items. I am going to actually put the Muscle Brawn on Etna, because as you can see, Laharl has incredibly high health um, for just a level four character. So we're going to be putting this on Etna. And it'll highlight in blue what stats improve. Say we wanted to put on the common axe, see the hit goes down with the red one. So, just take care of that. Go heal up. And then I believe we do have enough mana to create a character. At least, create a character that doesn't absolutely suck. Yep, okay, so... Wait a minute. Okay. You know, I think we might be able to do the, promo the first promotion exam this this, this time. Alright, so, this is the Dark Assembly. It's kind of like calling a Senate. <laughs> it's pretty much, well, it is. It's pretty much, um, your center of government. Now, from here, we can delete a character, change names, um, go through a promotion exam, which allows us for more options than what, than what are here, and raise military funds. Um, I'm going to explain, um actually calling a senate later because we don't have to right now. Oh shoot, I didn't want Oh shoot, I didn't want to do that. Shoot. 
because we are never going to be able to do this because you'll see everybody just hates us for trying to squeeze money out of them. I think we just lost the mana that we need to create a character. Shoot, we did. Because I wanted to create an incompetent character. Oh, which is not going to happen now, because as you can see, um, if we created a good for noth nothing character, the ability bonus is negative 5, which means that we have to actually take away from his stats in order to create him. So I am not going to be creating him yet. Actually, I am going to be going against the promotion exam just be because we might actually be able to get enough mana to create a character that way. <laughs> that was so stupid of me. I can't believe I did that. I didn't even mean to hit X. My fingers just hit it. <laughs> oh well. The, uh, the first one is pretty much a pushover for Laharl to do. Um... Actually, we're getting pretty down there with life. How much? 22. Okay, we should be able to take you out. Oh, shoot. No, come on. Come on. Counter. Yes. Okay. As long as we got out the top guy, these guys are going to be a pushover. Um, but as you can see, they are using combo attacks, which means they are going to build up from the 0 to the 9. To the... Okay, that's not that bad. Alright, I am going to have to run away for a little while, though, because I do need to... use an item to get some life back. Now, there's a cool thing about actually using mint gum, which I never use mint gum after I use it, because it becomes already been chewed gum. It has a quarter of what life it would have given you back earlier, but I never use it afterwards. I've never actually used an ABC gum now that, now that I think about it, so I don't know if it goes away after you use it again. <laughs> be really funny if you could just keep those three gums throughout the entire game. Actually, you know what? In fact, I'm gonna use the ABC gum. See what happens. See what... Okay, it does go away. <laughs> Must have swallowed it or something. What, 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 what TV show was it? Was it Rugrats that, um... They had the, the scare that if you swallowed gum, it would just stay in your stomach? No, that was the watermelon, that if you swallowed the seed, it would grow in your stomach into a watermelon plant and kill you. <laughs> some of those earlier episodes were just the most, some of the most disturbing things. Yeah, see, we, now we get 16 mana, which means we can create a decent character. Um, now, there's a couple of characters that I do want to create. Well, there's quite a bit, because as you can see, we only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 human classes, but there are 17 human classes at, in total, which I'm actually, I actually have a list that I'm going to be putting in the description um, as a link that you can all look at, because if you want to be in this Let's Live It All as a character, go pick one out of the list, and I will make that character. Um, and as we get higher level characters, uh, eventually we'll start seeing copies of them out behind. Um, they're not going to be like the red, green, and blue skulls where um, red is fire ma a fire mage, green is a wind mage, and I uh, blue is an ice mage. But they're going to be more powerful versions, like I believe the warrior becomes a valkyrie afterwards. Um, he becomes like a champion or something afterwards. Um, it's just a different color palette mostly, but they do have better stats, they've got better equips and stuff like that. Oh, we can see it here. Um, like, we have the zombies, which, um, you can see their stats up in the top left corner, and then the ghoul has better stats up in the top left corner. Um, thing is that monsters, um, see in the bottom right and up top, they have aptitude for their skills, and, uh, you have affinities for your weapons. The monsters, their aptitudes are always going to be 100%. They grow at a static rate, whereas, um, see, like, that's not a good example. Um, see, like the mages, they grow faster at intelligence, but they grow horribly at HP and defense. Um, and as well as with the weapon affinities, there's going to be different skills that they're... Uh-oh. Stop skipping. Stop skipping. One second, guys. Alright, sorry about that. I don't know what that was. Um, I just need to do a quick sync up. Um... 
one, two, three, four, I declare a mage war. Um, I don't know what that was. Um, my capture scar, my capture card just started skipping like a mofro. So I decided to actually stop the recording and restart it, hoping that it would fix itself. Um, but yeah, the affinities up above actually determine how fast you can master a weapon, and as you master a weapon, you'll get new skills. Um, which I will sh well, you've already seen them, like, um, Etna has Impaler, Laharl has Blade Rush and stuff like that. Well, anyway, um, the first character I'm going to make is actually going to be a Cleric, because I would, I would love to make a Warrior, but Cleric is more important, because we need to heal. We need to have someone for healing. And... She's gonna kill me, but you know what? She said she wanted to be in this LP as a character, so... Um... Oh no! My girlfriend's name is Sam. There are like a million people with the name Sam out there. And she's gonna kill me, but I don't care. So... She wanted to be that character, so... We will now be going to equip our characters a little. And I'm going to end this afterwards, um, because I don't think I've shown off Rose and Queen Company yet. Okay, so you talk to the archer, this girl, for weapons, and you talk to the guy down below, the warrior, for armor. First things first, I'm going to buff up Laharl. Second thing second, I'm going to buff up... Oh. So I should explain this. Okay, so you've got, on the right, you see that the stats for the weapon, um, ooh, Arms Master, um, HP, SP, Attack, Defense, Intelligence, Speed, Hit, and Resistance. Um, down below the add bonus are special, um, well, you see the ticks next to, um, some of the stats, like, Intelligence has the two ticks next to it, and Resistance has the one. This is actually because there are certain people called, um, trainers on them, I think they're called. Um, physicians, teachers, and teacher. Um, so you get, I think it's plus three to intelligence. I can't remember. And plus five to, no, plus five to intelligence from the teachers and plus three to resistance from the physician. And I'm going to show this off later once we get to the item world. Um, because you can actually increase those bonuses even further. Um, the important thing to look out is for the people that have uh, the ticks in add bonus, like this guy has Arms Master 7. Now what this actually, uh, what Arms Master actually does is it increases the rate at which a person learns um, certain weapon, uh, learns to master a weapon, so it can come in handy especially with low-level characters, but for right now I am just, you know, just going to give Sam the Witch's Staff, because we're not really concerned with her learning fast. Um, I could give... Well, I want a better axe. I could give Etna another spear, like she already has. Ooh, wait. Do we have anything new? You can just go out and go back in to see if there's better stuff. But I could give Etna another spear. Problem with that is that spears aren't that great. Um, they Later on, they will allow us to hit multiple enemies with their skills, but you have to move whenever you use that, so it kind of becomes kind of useless. And... You know what? I'll get a Scratch Claw. I'm going to get all three of you a Scratch Claw just because I don't want you guys to suck. There we go. Yeah, I'm not going to get gra uh, the crab pincer just because that's so expensive. And... There we go. And I believe we have just enough to... Yeah, 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 give us the armor. I think we have enough to actually get some armor for... Oh. For Sam. Well, I'll sell this stuff first, just to make sure. Now the way I'm actually 
sorting all that quickly is just hit triangle and that'll sort everything in your inventory. Like, lickety split. Alright, so we cannot... I'm gonna actually get her two protectors just because she is our healer. So she's a bit more important. And I think that's it. Alright, so, um... Next time on Let's Play, or Let's Live, Disgaea 1, even though... Oh, excuse me. Ha <laughs> ha, oh, excuse me, like, oh, ex-foo. Ha <laughs> ha, I get it. Um... Ow. <laughs> um, let's, next time on Let's Live Disgaea, we're gonna go further through the first story, go on to the Blessed Court in Byers Castle, and I'm gonna focus, I'm, I'm gonna focus more on actually doing story. Um, I am gonna grind a little bit before next episode, so next episode, everybody, I'm gonna try to have everybody, except maybe Sam, at level 5. So I will see you all next time on Let's Live slash Let's Play. Disgaea with Neox Fu. Take it easy. <laughs>